This is the download from Sounds Profitable, your daily source for the essential news in the business of podcasting, brought to you by Spreaker from iHeart. I'm Gavin Gaddis, in for Tom Webster. Here's what you need to know for today, Wednesday, April 3rd. First up, the ad bargain is here. As of an hour ago, Sounds Profitable's newest study, the ad bargain is live. The study is named after the inherent deal made by any consumer of ad-supported media. Publishers provide the content the consumer likes, and the consumer will give some attention to its sponsors. Back in 2023, the media moves the message looked at comparing the effectiveness of podcasts as an advertising vehicle compared to broadcast slash cable TV and broadcast radio. The ad bargain looks at podcast advertising's effectiveness in comparison to two other fast-growing categories, YouTube and Connected TV, or CTV. The study is available for free direct download, as well as Tom Webster's 40-minute webinar, guest starring his two greyhounds, Walnut and Hazel, if you're eagle-eyed enough to spot them. All available on Sounds Profitable. And stay tuned for the research database snapshot for a slide pulled from the ad bargain. Up next, industry KPIs, YouTube and X emerge as leaders for social media advertising attention. According to eMarketer Industry KPI, that's key performance indicator, data from Adelaide, YouTube is outperforming all other social platforms in regards to social media attention. As far as social attention metric, that's AU, is concerned, even YouTube's lowest quarter last year, 63 AU, is still significantly higher than X, formerly Twitter, in, which is in second place with 33.5 AU. Podcast advertising outperformed all platforms except for YouTube throughout 2023, starting with 51.17 AU in Q1 and ending with 49.12 by the end of the year. Up next, where and how Gen Alpha consumes content, from YouTube to Netflix to Roblox. While the digital future of the newest generation, that's those born between the 2010s and 2024, might be set to change as states like Florida set strict age minimums on social media platforms, the digitally native Gen Alphas nevertheless have a footprint online. YouTube is by far the most popular, with eMarketer's February 2024 forecast predicting 93.7% of U.S. digital video users under 12 will use YouTube at some point this year. Podcast consumption is rising with kids, too. GWI data shows the share of Gen Alpha aged 8 to 15 who listen to podcasts increased 13% year over year from 2021 to 2022, reaching 26%. And finally, it's just going to be a competition of attention. Why performance marketers are shifting their priorities to build the brand. Performance marketing has reached an inflection point as digital advertising becomes more crowded, expensive, and data privacy initiatives grow in strength. Though instead of a full paradigm shift in the opposite direction, a healthy diet of multiple disciplines is suggested by Digiday sources. Now the sector is shifting back to brand building and awareness marketing tactics, finding a balance between performance and brand to stand out. The renewed focus on brand awareness could be a boon for podcasting, as the medium is proven to be particularly effective when it comes to branded content. As for the rest of the news, the New York Times will soon offer narrated versions of most articles via an automated voice. Sources tell Bloomberg that Spotify is adding new tiers to Spotify Premium and raising prices in several markets. Jon Stewart claims Apple stopped him from interviewing FTC chair on his podcast. Two of listeners' podcasts have been nominated for New York Festival's Radio Awards, and the 2024 U.S. ad market is projected to hit $369 billion, in part due to political ad revenue. And finally, we close out with a research database snapshot. This one's from The Ad Bargain. What we have is a chart reflecting the percentage of responses agreeing with the sentiment, I am more willing to consider products and services after I learn about them on this media. The chart tracks nine different forms of media, ranking from bottom to top, AM, FM radio, 52%, streaming music, which is the same, websites and online news pull down 57%, streaming TV gets 58%, network or cable television at 60 Instagram was 69 YouTube also was 69 TikTok gets 70% and podcasts at the top was 71%. So what does this mean? While the top four are a tight pack, podcasting does take the lead when it comes to consumer willingness to participate in their half of the ad bargain. 
And why is this cool? Statistically, there isn't much separating podcasts from the next three entrants, but it does occupy the top tier compared to both streaming and broadcast TV or radio. Be sure to check out all the links to every article mentioned right in your podcast listening app or at soundsprofitable.com, where you can also subscribe to the newsletter version. The download is written and produced by Brian Barletta, myself, and Tom Webster. For Sounds Profitable, I'm Gavin Gaddis. Download us tomorrow.